Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Star Citizen. Uh, I started this one a little early because I wanted to point something out. Uh, every time you start in these uh, these rooms, they're always different. Uh, there was one in here, there was an actual book that was open. You could read there, stand here and read the pages, and uh, Tricorder. Uh, if you remember, watch my Hellion series, you probably remember Tricorder. Uh, he's actually in the game. He's he had a bit of an insurance bug with his ship, so I don't know how much long we'll be seeing him, but I was on for a few hours with him over the weekend and we were doing some stuff you know, I was, he was letting me fly a ship around and I got a little bit of experience but yeah there's one in here there's actually a roll of toilet paper sitting right there in the corner but I have been online and I've been doing a little bit of work trying to make a little bit of money I've given up on the, the whole missions thing because they're kind of disabled right now but I've been doing cargo runs and things have been actually working out pretty good I've been making a little bit of money as you can see I've got I've made about 900 already. I've had to fill up the tank a couple of times. The afterburner's a bit of a fuel guzzler. But let's go pick up some cargo before we call the ship. See what's going on. I think there's a lot of people on right now. I have no idea. But let's see what we got here. So we're going to buy and see what we can get. And then basically you buy it here and you sell it somewhere else where it has a high enough demand. Like I had bought, I basically doubled on stim packs, which is a good one. See, hydrogen's cheap here, so maybe I'll go ahead and get 300 units of this. 300 units are 422, and I'll probably sell this somewhere else for probably like 7 or 800, so I get some credits. Uh, the AUEC is the current in-game currency, which is up here. Uh, this is different from the actual 5,000 UEC I have in my uh, in my account, but you actually you can actually get the five. You usually you start out with a thousand, but you have that referral code to get a extra 5,000, but yeah, we should be good. just want to check, make sure my ship's got... There we go. So I, Aurora does actually have three storage spots on it, so you can make a little bit of little bit of money with this ship. So I don't know where we're going to take it. You can basically take it to outposts and stuff. I don't think you can take it to the emergency shelters. But anyways, let's go ahead and pick up our little baby. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Let's find out where it is. A07, I've been there before. Uh, that is this way. Yes, this door. It'd be nice if they actually pointed out which door or which locks were which way sort of deal. But, oops, that's the wrong way. Alright, where are we going? We are going this way. Alright, that's pressurized. We'll see how things go. There's been <laughs> a lot of interesting activity around here. And some some days you come in, like stand here for ten minutes watching some guy try to land because he's got a, cr a crime status and the station won't let him land. So that he's trying to come in with this caterpillar, just getting bombarded by the turrets you know, like that. Let's go see what's going on. Somebody's in trouble. Hey, there's the freelancer. I think. There's a ship right in front of me. Let's get out of here. And let's see where we're going to go. Alright. Definitely in this game, it's a good thing to have insurance. <laughs> Eventually, talking about being able to renew your insurance with the in game currency when the time comes. But uh, the next update is going to be in a couple of months. And from what I've heard, any m money that you're making right now gets transferred to your main account, and you'll actually be able to. Uh, buy actual ships in the game instead of having to whoa add extra funding so where are we going uh, let's actually check before we leave the pad here let's go to Daymar because I like Daymar it looks like Mars alright let's get out of here uh, I also found out where my gas tank is or my fuel gauge is uh, on the left side of my HUD there you can see like my throttle indicator but the top one is actually my fuel gauge so that's what I didn't know about it's cheap to f fill it up it costs like a hundred bucks to get a f or a hundred credits to fill up the tank completely and see so went to quantum <laughs> but yeah this tank is kind of oh interdiction 
And it's kind of funny because it doesn't mean that someone's actually trying to attack you. It just means that there's going to be somebody in the area. It doesn't mean they're hostile or not. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, right, tricorder pointed that out. That the whole ship shakes whenever you're going to have that, just like that. It shakes, so there's going to be another one. So that means that there's going to be somebody here. And there's also little warp uh, jump points around the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh, answers my question. I was wondering if there's going to be a lot of people around. Well, apparently there is. Anyway, let's do this. That would be so awesome in 3D. So where are we going to go with this? Uh, could go to Kudro. Or the mining facility. I'd prefer not to go somewhere dark. There we go. There we go, we'll go to mine area 141. We'll just jump to this point here. And quick little jumps with a little bit of server lag. And there we go. I don't know what they're using for the fuel for the quantum fuel, but I, I know the engines are using using hydrogen. Oh, red out. I'm famous for those. Haven't blocked out yet. I'm sure I will one day. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the mining corp, mining area there. So, I'm gonna do a cut here. See, I can go to the other one up here, but that uh, still will be about 300 kilometers away. So I'm just gonna go this way. Use the afterburner, and I'll bring you back in a few minutes. All right, here we are. It's uh, a little dusty right now. A little laggy too. Something up. Something with me. I have no idea what that's trying to tell me. But let's go ahead and see. We'll just take this spot right here. Those pads look so much, so much smaller up here than they do when you're actually right next to them, or on them, I should say. And I'm going to see if I can actually do this in first person without having to switch over to the third person view. I think it's possible. You never know. It's not like there's anything around here I can damage. I got insurance. I know about these guys. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, let's see what happens. Well, I hit the pad and nothing else, and that worked. Alright, let's go see what we can get for this hydrogen. Now, there's usually a couple of buildings, and it's the one labeled storage. Uh, and all these outposts have these little terminals. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Where are you? I can't see. Okay, now I can exit. All right, where is it? It's one of these ones. I think it's. I think it's actually this one. Because it's got a little marker on it. Leg spike. All right. Come on, let me in. And then we'll see what they have here. Another. I doubled my money with stim packs going from, where did I go from? I think it was Kudra or I picked up stims there. Are you not cycling? I guess it would help if I pushed a button. So yeah, there's this terminal here. Uh, some of the ships have a lot of cargo space. You can go up here to sell, which is hidden by the light. Go here and all right. So they're not actually taking hydrogen. So um, there is certain places to take certain things depending on demand. So I'm actually gonna go check this list I saw, find out who's got what and who's taking what, and 
and whatnot, so I'm not booting around the system all the time. So I'll be right back. Alright, so it seems the only places that are actually buying the hydrogen happens to be the outposts. So we are going to go and uh, take a quick trip back over to Olisar, or maybe we'll go check another outpost. Let's go back to Olisar. And then maybe we'll pick up something there and go check out maybe Selen? Because I've never been to Selen yet. Alright. Alright, let's go up into the wild blue yonder. No idea what that beeping's all about. It'd be nice if it was like, uh, you know, a little notification that came up. So we'll go back up here and bring up our old star map. And let's see, where are we? We are at Damar right now. We can go to. Where's all the star? It's out down, down there. We might as well go back there. Set that as a destination, and we gotta get up there. I think we're too close to the surface to actually be able to do the quantum. That's why it's read it out like that. Let's see what's going on. Where is it? It's on the other side of the planet. That would explain it. We're going the wrong way. No, it's that way. Is there any points around? No, it's not exit. Uh, they're never around when you need them. Anyway, I'll meet you back at... Oh, back at Allstar. Okay, so I'm back here. As you can see, somebody was getting shot, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get a parking spot here. Uh, let's see where we go. Come on, get out of there. I closed you. Okay, where is it? There it is. Gotta make sure not to lose my spot this time. I'm so used to wanting to hit shift to stabilize from playing Hellion, but shift in this game is actually your afterburner. That's a bad thing. Let's try to get a lot here. Anyways, I'll cut to the chase here. I'll bring you back when I'm selling the hydrogen. We'll see what else we can get. Okay, I'm back. It is impossible to plan this thing with the lag sometimes. It's not the first time that's done that, where it doesn't say exit. It just says open, and exit shows up afterwards. So let's go see how much money we can make. I don't think we'll make anything because we actually bought it from here. We're probably actually going to lose some money. But I'm going to have to remember to stay away from the hydrogen. It's not really worth it. But I was looking at what the, out the places on the planets, the moons want, like the outposts. They actually want like food and water and stuff like that. So let's, let's, do, a, let's do a food run. I don't know how much we'll make, but we'll make something, I'm sure. So far, the fuel tank's holding up. Uh, this way. Yes, the lag is real. Okay, money. Oop. All right. So yeah, this was. This was a bust. I don't know how much we're actually going to get for it, but let's find out. I lost a hundred on it. Oh well. Yeah, I can't actually do much anyways, because it's all the space I have. Okay, let's see what we can buy here. Uh, anything good. Aluminum. Processed food. Hmm. Let's do it. Gonna be expensive. Got it. 
All right, I'm broke. Spent all my money on food, just like the real world. So, do I have to call my ship again? I didn't even see where I landed. Uh, it was this way. I'm sure if I looked at the screen, it would tell me where, where my ship is. And I hit an invisible wall. Uh, was it here? Oh, there it is. Uh, wow, that lag is not me. I'm pretty sure it's a server or something. Oh, yeah, airlock's over here. Alright, so I am going to go head off. Let's go. I've never been to Selwyn before, so maybe we'll go check that out. And I'll meet you there. I think we're going to go to Daymar, but check out Buddy over there. He's flipping around. What's he doing? He was like spinning in circles. He must be trying to deal with the lag like I am. Anyway. Uh... Daymar seems better. This selling's kind of blocked right now, so head out of here. And engine's on. So, same as pressure usual, I'll meet you when we get there. Alright, here we are. I actually came to Shubin. This is actually the first time I've been here, so might as well. And I'm thinking we might. Oh, yeah, I always try to walk through and I keep forgetting that he does it automatically. I'm thinking uh, we'll try to see what we can pick up here, and then uh, next episode we'll go ahead to Delamar, which is. Let's bring this up. Yeah, uh, server issues. So we're actually right here at Daymar, and there's Delamar out here. So I might go check that out. That's actually a longer jump. Uh, I don't know if we can land on it, but we'll go check it out. But, anyways, let's go see how much money we make. Put my life savings into that food. That was 15. Probably should have parked closer. I should have parked over there. Now, this should say storage, right? Mining control. Okay, uh, where do I go? Is it this one? Usually the small ones. Landing services. Okay. Process of elimination. Might actually be this one. No, oh, administration. Oh, it's got to be this. Storage, yay! I don't want my money. And I worked hard for this food. Alrighty. And let's uh, scoot you over a little bit. Sell. Oh, man. <laughs> I lost money on that. Unless we try to take this somewhere else. Because I spent 15. If I sell it, I lose 1400. Alright, well, we're going to go head off to Delamar, I think, next episode then. Anyways, uh, oh, yeah, we don't, don't have to open this. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.